All right, we're here at New Era Racecraft. I'm Steve Morris, and we are dynoing a motor here for Rod Nance. Now this is a 565 cubic inch motor, F2 Pro Charger, non-intercooled E85. This has Dart 345 heads on it. One of our cam piston uh, packages in this motor. And this is a 77 tooth pulley and a 54 tooth upper. And uh, this just has a set of Cometic head gaskets in it. So we're trying to keep this down in that 1500 horsepower range. Just because I don't like to uh, make much more power than that on Cometics. Uh, they'll take a little bit more. But uh, in general I like to keep it a little bit lower. So what we're going to do here is we are going to set down a tripod. And... Come over here and um, video, and we're going to make just a nice easy sweep, and then we'll come back out here and uh, go look at all the data graph and talk about this. Alright, and that was a nice, easy, general sweep. And uh, I want to talk about this just a little bit more. CSU uh, ethanol carb, E85. And uh, has the uh, this one has an air motive system on it with the air motive belt drive pump. It's hung up down there. And what I'll do now is we'll set this back down and we'll take the camera out into the console and show you all the numbers. All right, and we're back on the outside here, and we're going to look at numbers, and we will go right up the screen here. Uh, thirty-four hundred, all the way at uh, you know thirty-four hundred RPM. We're at four thirty-one, six hundred sixty foot-pounds of torque, and four thousand at six hundred two, seven ninety-one. And air fuel ratios, you can kind of look at those too. 11.6, 11.69. And right there where it gets into the 12.32, 12.21, that's where the uh, boost reference power valve comes on in the front. And then you can scroll all the way down and you can see where we're 11.19, 22. And we're right here at 6,000, 13.42, 11.74 torque, 16 pounds of boost. 11.26 air fuel, go down 65, we're at 14.28, 19 pounds of boost, uh, 10.83, and this is where the carburetor was going real rich on me, and if you noticed on the very tail end of that dyno pole, a little bit of popping out the exhaust, and you can see that it made, at 6,900, it made 14.84, 20 pounds of boost, now this is all the way down at 9.87 air fuel ratio. Oil pressure is still holding in there in the 70s. Then you got right here where we were at 1484, 1482, 1455, and all of a sudden the thing nosed over. And it nosed over because we popped that gasket. We'll go in here and look at it. MLS head gasket. I just put this copper one on because that's what I'm going to put on the copper, copper Titan series. 
flew right in, in between the two cylinders, number uh, four and number six. So it popped right there, right at the very end. Didn't do any damage, but like I said before, uh, earlier on in the in the video, those MLSs, Cometics, I just don't have good luck at you know 1,500 horsepower and above, and we were right there. So I'll show you the cylinder head here. Hold on a second. And there is the torched up hole from the blown head gasket. So now we will head back in here. This other cylinder head looks fine. Although I believe I'll looks like this is heads have been welded up before so it's probably popped the head gaskets before on this deal. I don't think so. Right there. Right there is our culprit. Pretty instantaneous. So anyways, makes real good power, real good piece. We're gonna have to fix this gasket.